Welcome back to the channel. And welcome to Rage 2. So legit, we were talking about this on Gaming News Weekly. And I was like, I'm going to download and play it. Because I played it a little bit. A long time ago. And I, I don't know. It was something about this game that didn't connect with me. And I played the hell out of Rage 1. Like, I played so much of Rage 1. I had the three disc set. Turn the motherfucking, uh... Yeah, turn this up, buddy. Oh, no. Just go with 100. I think 100 is fine. Turn all that off. Turn the gamma down. Some should be too bright. But, like... There was something about Rage 2 that didn't hit like Rage 1 did. I'm going to go on normal. And uh, see what we can get into. They still got the little, the little three wheel thing. We had such plans for this world. Our Earth. So mercifully cleansed by the media they named Apophis. We had such plans. All yeah, that was Rage 1. By one man, Nicholas Rain. With the push of a button, our future was ended. The arcs emerged. The eco-pods came tumbling down, all premature, pouring life back into the barren lands, starting the cycle of life anew, as we had planned to do with our own species. Our plans were thwarted by the naive and arrogant masses. The cleansing of our weakened species was hindered. Bro, you're mechanical. Our aid selfishly refused. They chose their own pitiful existence over the future of the breed. Such hubris. They thought us defeated. We let them believe us defeated. But we moved underground. We watched their petty squabbles, their meaningless turf wars, their childish attempts at order from chaos, and we grew strong. Our science, our expertise, all aligned, all with one sole purpose. The surgical culling of the weak. Man reborn! We tear down their defenses. We take their compounds. We take the orcs. We raise their settlements and townships to the ground. Tonight marks the beginning of the cleansing. Tonight marks the rebirth of the authority. Why do y'all want to be mechanical niggas, bro? Like, why is Adam Smasher so, so mad that humans want to stay fleshy? On that part, I'm just kind of confused. Alright, thanks. Oh, they give me all my things from back in the day. Yes, yes, thank you. Holy shit. You couldn't have just had one pop-up game? God damn, fucks. You don't have to do this. Oh my gosh. Holy fuck. Better gear up and move out. I didn't know this had a I forgot this had a character thing. It's a drill? Doesn't sound like a drill. Sounds like the real thing. We should move out. I'm gonna be this girl. Yeah, grab your gear. Oh, you're still here. What the fuck? Do you die? What is that? Yeah, give me a wing stick. But see, I think the the thing I didn't like about this game when I played it so long ago is that I'll secure the door. Is it wasn't yeah, you did die, okay. Damn. You got blitzed on. Come on, Lily. That was my kill. 
You gotta move a little faster, Walker. Lily, yes, this it was the closest thing I ever had to family. We grew up here in Vineland, raised by her drill sergeant of a mother. Me? I'm an orphan. I don't have a mother. Yeah, this game is kind of like more where that came soft, from. comedic. I'm telling you, this is the big one. All right. And the, the first game some. was so dark and grounded. That this game, they just kind of went like over the top and, and just like... Oh, I can't kill you, bro? Oh, I can't. Okay. Then I'm like, what happened to Rage, bro? This shit was supposed to be, like, serious. And I think it's because it passed it off to Avalanche. I was never much for counting. And I think that's that was the problem with this. Am I not hitting you, bro? She already still recharged. Yeah, I think it's because it passed it off to Avalanche, and they just don't have that like dark reputation behind them. Like, it didn't know how to make some shit hit home. But this is just kind of... Yeah, like, look at this. What the fuck am I watching? Like, even, even Jersey ass. Holy shit, it took his whole head off. So much for Ranger Jersey. Yeah, like, what the fuck was that intro, bro? Like, I think it's because Rage 1 was so serious. They like, Rage 2 being, like, treated as a joke. In this many ways, it's like, come on now, bro. Shit, mom's gonna skin you alive messing with ranger gear. Yeah, but it's still got a lot of jersey in it. Yeah, but it's our only shot. But it probably wasn't still a good game. Yeah. It's just it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't Rage thought. One. And I played games in a time where like serious games should have been serious, and comedic games should have been comedic. So I didn't want Rage to turn from fucking. Dark and demented to goddamn Borderlands. Like I would play Borderlands if I wanted a game just fucking just to fuck around in. Switch weapons, yeah, I know. On my way. Wing stick, yes, I know. Kobe. Okay, is my sensitivity too fucking low? But I swear, I can't uh. You ain't dead? What the fuck, nigga? Grenade. Now with the wing stick. Y'all kind of tanky, aren't y'all? Yeah, I just think they 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 lost their way with this game. Getting jealous, Lily. Damn right I am. I would have been the youngest ranger to ever get sworn in. Not for this bullshit now, right crap. Focus. Oh, you can see through walls. Enemy. I don't remember focus being a thing. But focus a thing in Rage 1? I don't think it was. So yeah, I really don't know what the hell Rage 2 is supposed to be. Because it's not a sequel to Rage. I swear, that's not what this is. It feels more like a sequel to, uh... What's it called? Mad Max. What? You ain't die, bro. I hit you with hella bullets. Walker, what's keeping you? Get over here. Hold on, Walker's 
See, like, why is the... Why was the ladder purple? It's just things like that. Like, what the hell is this game doing? Like, I don't understand it. Alright, I got four wing sticks. What the hell am I looking for? But Get out of here. I swear y'all take too many bullets to fucking kill. Yeah. Hold this. Oh, I fucking missed you. Give me those bullets. You remember what they told us at the academy about the ranger armors? You can overdrive when it's charged. Cut your enemies to pieces. Overdrive? Yeah, what the fuck F are we doing? This is amazing. I don't understand why this game was like this. I couldn't tell you. Oh wait. Grenade! What? You're running. Stop that. I don't like runners. Oh, I thought I could jump up there. Die, bro. Is all the ladders purple? Is that a thing? That's a weird design choice. Dear old Aunt Prowley, decorated war hero, ranger, and role model, especially for Lily. She took me in when my parents died. The meanest mom this orphan wildcard never asked for. Reporting for duty, come here! That's Jersey's armor. Jersey. They killed him. You're brave enough to put on his armor? You're brave enough to do his job? What the fuck is that? I haven't seen anything so big. Makes an easy target. Can't be. Could you be dead? General, General Cross. Cross. Adam Smasher. <laughs> See, like. He's just comedically evil, bro. Like, I can't even hate you. You're just General funny. Cross, the evil leader of the evil authority, our own boogeyman. Yeah, bro. Bedtime like, story for naughty kids like me. <laughs> exactly. It's like a fucking it's bedtime really story. Do know this though, if it is, I'm not gonna stand for it. Son of a There's like nothing in this story to care about. That should blew any arm off. But yeah, this whole intro, like, what the fuck do I supposed to care about, bro? Erwina <laughs> Prowley, is that you? I was set to spare the lives of you original archists for experimentation. But for you, I'll make an exception. For old times, Elwina? <laughs> After all, your uselessness is what once spared my life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like... <laughs> Like, I could take none of nothing in this game serious, bro. Not a single bit of it.
And that's why I just like threw this to the wayside when I played Rage 2 back then. I was like, come on now, bro. See if we can jump I'm gonna go down on Rage 1. Clear. Wait. Oh, 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 oh. Fuck's sake. I was conscious. Yeah, you were. But your shiny new armor needed a jolt. What are you so doing, bro? She literally it, got gutted by a fucking. This is all that's left. Blade, a, a thermal blade. Just over twenty survivors. We're still digging out the ruins. I saw Prowley. Cross he. He killed her. He killed my mother. I don't know. What if Cross is your dad? But we gotta stop them. And I'll personally wring the neck of that goddamn wrinkled bastard. I never really believed the stories. That the authority would return. Well, they did. And we gotta do something about it. Mom knew what to do. The Rangers knew. Wait a minute. They kept their files, the logs. They kept them in the Presidio. The Ranger CP? You nuts. Only Rangers can go in there. Look at me, Lily. I'm the only Ranger left. Yep, just so happy. Holy shit. You really are. Why don't you go take your mom's armor and you could be a Ranger too. If it's that fucking easy to be a Ranger, just go take your mom's armor off. Oh no, this is not your mom. Where the fuck your mom at? Oh, she died over here. Where is she? Nope. Nope. Nope, that was one of those dudes. I don't see where the fuck her mom at. Because I know how to fucking sprint. But yeah, this game just didn't click with me because this shit was not a... Uh, it was not what I wanted from uh from Rage. Got something for me in here, Prowley. Unknown intruder. This is Presidio Security Protocol. State your name, rank, and business. Walright Unit, Corporal Walker. I'm here to find information about uh, about my about Ranger Unit Sergeant Irwina Prowley. Processing. Security protocol override. What? Come on now, bro. All these years, I kept you away from the ranks of the Rangers, as I hoped you would be spared in an attack like this, likely targeting Rangers and Elders. You're my hidden weapon. Sorry, I kept you in the dark. You now have full access to Vineland's primary arc and the technology inside, the old icebox. Imagine spending hundreds of years in this thing. It was me, your parents, all the originals, froze up like popsicles. And from here we emerged and kicked the authorities' ass. Inside the Ark is an ID accession distributor, which is my greatest gift to you. A device which augments the nanotracks in your blood and gives you, well, superhuman powers. There's no other way to put it. Enter the Ark. <laughs> now let's see what kind of surprise you got from here, Ghost Prowley. She might be dead. I swear, this She's game was just. Shots. They were just casually just like, yeah. Your parents, they're ARC people, and uh, you're an ARC person, now you're gonna be superhuman, so get in the box, and they're like, okay, damn, bro. Please approach for security scanning. Security scanning complete. Welcome to ARC 401A. Let's go. I'm about to become superhuman. So stick my hand into this strange hole and hope for the best. Yep. Here goes nothing. Just that funny. Welcome to Arc 
Welcome to the simulation chamber. And then I gotta fucking do another tutorial? Bro. In the use of your I don't. And any ID I don't. I swear. I'm trying to enjoy you it, have but like. Installed ID accession dash. With the I don't. Dash accession, you will be able to evade income Maybe I can try again another time, but uh, not today. So uh, thank you all for watching. Like, subscribe if you're new. I can't, I can't play this game, bro. I just can't do it. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's just, it's not for me, bro. So, uh, I'll see y'all in the next video.